Welcome back. We are on our fourth video to complete our clown tint and shade painting lesson. So I have Sarah here with me today. Hi. And she's ready to go. She has all of her materials. I'm going to tell you what you need and then we'll get started. Or Sarah, why don't you tell them? What do we need? You need your, um, your artwork. And uh, can it be a little bit wet or does it have to be totally dry? Totally dry. I draw my little bit of recess, but then it dried. Yeah, Sarah's is completely dry. She um, she painted uh, most of it in that one sitting that we just did the last video, and then she actually had to come back and work on it a little bit uh, later, but we saved the paint in a Tupperware container so it didn't dry on her plate. Um, and do you remember what this You're is going to need your um, this strip thingy. Yep, the strip. Mm-hmm. That's and our tent and shade strip. And then, pause video if you don't have these two. And also, you're going to need your strip because you're going to sharpie our artwork. And then, you're going to need a pencil because we have to write our name on the back of both of them. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Go ahead and read what you always read so beautifully for all of us to keep in mind while we're doing our art, having a good attitude, positive thinking. Ready? Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to ten, take a deep breath, and try again. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. Uh, and I made up a rule. Number five, always have fun, because if you don't have fun, then, then you should pause the video and take a break and then come back. Yeah, our goal is to have fun. Learn art techniques produce some beautiful artwork we're really proud of and have fun while we're doing it. Okay, you ready? Yep, I okay. just want to start. Yeah, I know, you just want to start. Oh, and uh, since these two are like almost the same color, I'm going to sharpie that button so it doesn't look the same color. Yeah, as that could have happened. You could have, cut, you could have painted in an area, two areas right next to each other, either with the exact same color or just a tint or a shade different. And so when we sharpie it, it's gonna really, really pop. Right, Sarah? Yep. Okay. I, I don't know how it looks, and you don't either because you haven't done it with your other stuff. I know. This is my first time doing this this art lesson. Do we write a name first? Oh yeah. Okay. So turn your um, uh, creation over, your okay. composition. I want you to write your name, not big. too big, not too, not too small, just right, so that I can read it. Your teacher can read it. Okay. Can you guys then, read this? And then um, write your name on the back of your strip. So there we go. So there Wait. you go. There's her Sarah's Wait, name. And if your name is longer than this, you can go like this and write it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. So write your name on the back of the strip. And we are gonna get started. This is gonna be a quick lesson. So it's only gonna be like 12 minutes. Because we're just going to be sharpening. That's your prediction, 12 minutes? Yeah, because okay. we always do that. We'll say that for the um, balloon. Oh, is the balloon about 12 minutes long? Yeah, okay. and Joey always do the same as Okay, yeah, the sharpening part's really fast. Okay, so just a review from our Sharpie experience. We are going to start at the top of our composition, and we're going to work our way down, just like we did with the hot air balloon. And um, there's not really... Uh, yeah, I mean, last time, it, nothing really smudged. It wasn't really like there was a wet effect from the Sharpie, right? So let's just work our way from the top down. Oh, and I from just this. want to say something. This is like a one sitting process. Right? Oh, yeah, we're just going to do this in one sitting. Okay? Uh huh. All right, let's get going. Yeah. Okay, so what should I start with? You decide. I guess I'm going to start with the hair. The hair? Okay, I'm going to start with the hat. And then I am just sharpening where my pencil lines were. And the sharpie is going to make it so. It pops. My lines really pop, and you well, can you, see. Well, you already used Sharpie, but not. She used the Sharpie for the first one, so you could see, but now she's using the other Sharpie that pops more. Yeah, mine's such a big piece. I, I'm using a, a bigger Sharpie, a thicker Sharpie. I want you to see it better. So I'm, that's why I'm using this one. All right. So everyone's working at their own pace, it's not a race. And I might finish when my mom hasn't finished. It doesn't matter who finishes first, right? We're yeah. just, uh, we, what we want to do is we want to take our time. We want to do our best effort, take our time. If it means it takes 10 minutes, then it great. takes 10 minutes. If it takes 
13 minutes. Then it takes 13 minutes. If it takes 28 minutes. Then it takes 28 minutes. Yeah. No matter it just, how long it takes, you got to take your time. Does not matter how long it takes. Everybody works at their own pace. If you need to shake your hand out, you can shake your hand out. But I'd like you to do try to do this in one sitting. I think you can. Or if you need to stretch and get up for like a minute or two, then you can do that right now. Yep. Yeah. If you need to take a, a stretch. But we we haven't even been doing this very long, so I think everyone's good. Yeah. Is it okay if we mess up while we're doing this and we accidentally sharpie in a place where we didn't mean to sharpie? Yeah, because you can't really see yours, um, your pencil marks. You can't see the pencil marks anymore, yeah. So it's okay. So it's okay. Just be gentle on your on yourself and be proud of what you are able to do. Huh? Like where the ear part is, you might go down accidentally. I almost did that. That could happen. It's okay. And what I noticed the most out of when I was painting is my uh, the lines of my eyes really disappeared. So now that I'm doing the sharpie, now it really pops. So that eye really pops. Yeah, I stopped yesterday in the night when I was like at the eyes. I need to space. What, honey? I need to do the face. Are you the doing the face right now? Because I need it outside. Beautiful. Yeah, Sarah's taking her time. I'm really liking the the outcome of her effort. It's looking really nice and beautiful. Everyone knows what their best effort is, right? Mm-hmm. You know, Mommy, do they don't have to draw, like, a nose for it, like a... Um, like a circle nose, a big circle nose. They could draw like a square or something. Well, that's whatever is painted, you're just going to be tracing the lines that separate the different tints and shades of your purple. That's what we're doing right now. Ooh. Wait, Molly, look at. Remember when you told me last night that I'm going to. Yeah, that's what I was just telling them. See up here, Sarah? I was just telling them in the video that now my lines are back where my eyes are. Mm -hmm. That happened to Sarah too. Yeah, because I was like, oh. I guess it really depends on what kind of eyes you did. Yeah, I did the same as yours. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with the face now, so I'm going to go on to like the ball. Okay, can I tell, show them where you are? Yeah. Okay. So here is where Sarah it's is. It's popping. It's popping more. It's popping. Her whole head's done. She's going to work down her body and to her feet, right? Yes. Yeah, you've got all the lines. You got, you didn't miss any. Good job. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, no, I missed one. Oh, the inside of the, the oh, flower. Oh, look, you guys. Missed one, but I got it. I, they're inside the flower. Yeah, try really hard to be a You didn't see it. Mom. I missed okay. that. Try to be a detective searching for lines that are Oh, hiding. and after you can tell your mom or your dad or whoever's with you, like, did I get everyone? Yeah, you can ask a parent you, you or an that, adult. Like, um, you know that, last time for the hot air balloon. Yeah, you can ask an adult in your house, hey, did I miss anything? I mean, I really looked hard and I, I tried my best, but maybe my eyes missed something. That can happen. Mm -hmm. So ask an adult. Once you're done. Once you're all done, you think you're done, you can say, hey, can you look at mine and see if I sharpied every line? Every single line. I might miss a line. I think I will, because I already did. All right. So Sarah's working a little bit at a faster pace than I am. I'm doing my best. Wait, wait, why? How? Oh, I'm still working on my face and my hair. I'm just saying you're a little oh. bit further than me. I'm trying my best, though. I'm on the like collar. I just finished like the bow and the M, and I'm on like to the um, arms and the, all the arms and the details inside it, like the triangles that I did, the diamonds. Yeah, and everybody has their own patterns or shapes or 
sets of lines that they I use. did um I did a uh, triangles and circles for my buttons and diamonds. But you could have done like squares or or you could have done plaid or stripe. Like plaid? Where's plaid? Um I don't have the drawing aids out. I can show you later. Okay. It's similar to stripes. It has striping in it. Oh, you went to go sit that one. All right. I'm coming down my body. I'm doing my arms right now. I'm on the second arm and I'm almost done. You're where you are. You're where you are. My classmates are where they are. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my arm like almost went off the paper, but it didn't. See that? You got really close to the edge, huh? Uh-huh. I'm gonna draw the arms in just a second, both of them. Okay. I am so excited to see how everyone's clowns turned out. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see. Get one hand. Sometimes the sharpie might go in a direction that you didn't mean for it to go. That can happen. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see where we are. We're uh, almost 12 minutes in, and not the mouse very much. It's like 11. Mm -hmm. Not much more to go here, but everyone's working at their own pace. I guess. Tw um, uh, 12, but it just might be 13 or 14 or 15 because I'm not even done, so just my prediction. Okay. I'm almost done with the um, shirt. Oh, remember what we were talking about when we were painting about the the circles where the, where the buttons are, if you did buttons? Mm -hmm. And I had said you can use a black Sharpie to do the parts of the button where the stitching went in? Yeah, I remember that. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. You can go like this. But you're doing it when I'm you're doing okay it. with it? Yeah, I did I did two little lines in the middle of oh, my Oh yeah, because if you did pencil and then uh, I did it with my Sharpie. I don't I have room. Should I do it? it that is your that is up to you. That's that's what I'm talking about. I'm right doing here. it, I'm doing it. Your call, your call if you want to do the, if you did buttons on, Ooh, on the Oh, buttons shirt. look, I like the buttons more with it, but yeah. You like it with it? Yeah. All right, so I am finishing up my arms. I'm finishing up my, um, oh, I just finished the socks for me. Now I'm on the shoes. After the shoes, Mom is going to uh, see if I missed anything. Oh, and look at guys. On my shoes, I want the little, you can't really see, but I want uh, lines coming this way, two lines. Like, um, Mom, look at I wanted... Are you talking about the creases where the yeah, shoe bends? you guys can see, but I just remember that because I can see just... Well, once you draw it in, we can point it out. How about yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We are 13 minutes are we 13 minutes into our video here? Mm -hmm. It took us 13 minutes to start. We are almost done. Everyone's working at their own pace. If you need to shake out your hand, shake out your hand. Okay, guys, this is what I was talking about if you didn't really understand. Okay, I'm my, I only did one foot so they can see the difference. Okay, show them. Go ahead and show them. See that? You can't really sit on this one, but I did it, so that is what I'm talking about, those pieces. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Okay. All right, I'm getting to my shoes. Where Where are you, Sarah? I'm on my second shoe, and then I think I'll be done. Mm -hmm. All right. I think you're going to see. Gonna I'm going to check it out for you. I don't think I missed this spot, actually. Okay, I'm on to my shoes. Okay. 
Just trying my best, going my pace. I'm not trying to go really fast. I'm just going at, at what is comfortable to me. Okay, I think I'm done. Mm -hmm. You think you're done? Okay. Yeah, I, can I show them? Can I show them? Yep. I only have one more foot to do. How will you do it right now? And then I'll show. You want, okay, you go ahead and stand up and I'll keep. Um, I'll stand yours when you're done. Okay. That's mine. Now it popped. So right, you, you want... can like rewind and see how it didn't pop and then now you can see it pops. I like it, Mom. Why don't you do this with Joey and Sammy? Well, it just didn't happen when they were in third grade. You know, it's all about planning and and figuring things out. And it worked out this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to do my last line down here. And then I'm going to ask Sarah to look at mine and see if I missed any. I'm going to look at Sarah's. Okay, let's she let missed any. Okay. All right, Sarah, you're good to go. Skin. Skinning. Mom, did you miss a spot on purpose? No, I, t I tried my best. Like, okay, all right, so you are, uh, when you finish, uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. When you finish, when you finish, I want you to make sure, double check, is your name on the back of your clown? Is your name on the back of your color strip? Then you're gonna go and you're gonna take this and put it with any other art finished projects that you have done, you're gonna paper clip them all together. And you're gonna put- What if they don't have a paper clip? I think they could find a paper clip somewhere in their Case. house. Okay? Paper clip is? So, you're gonna paper clip it all together, and you are, there There were paper clips that came with the art uh, materials. So use that paper clip if you need to, perfect. Then you are gonna put this in a safe place in your home where siblings and pets cannot get to it. Uh, you're gonna have this in a safe spot and save it until we do the uh, material pickup next time. And then you're gonna drop off what you all the creations you have so far. Okay? This is a paper clip, guys. So. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna paper clip Sarah's together. Just like this. Or, and any art, like and your art. Um, hot air balloon. But you don't need your warm up to bring. Just you don't need your warm ups. Those are yours. I just, I just like your finished pieces. Okay. And uh, Sarah wanted to show you something for a few moments. She I made this during lunch. That I clipped down and this pops time. Weird. For Halloween. All right. Thank you, Sarah. All right. You ready to sign off? Um. Okay. All right. I can't wait to see your clowns, and we will see you for the next um, art lesson. All right. Bye. Bye.